Before the following video starts, I want to make sure you take this chance that you guys like and subscribe to the Wanderer Station and turn on notifications so you get videos every day and leave a comment down below if you like the video or not. If you have, winners will receive one of my merchandises for free. This is basically when you see one of my merchandise of the PS5 sign, which is made out of cardboard and used some essential paints to paint the logo. This is PS5. It's a really cool looking merchandise and sign collector. Now how to win one of these is you gotta subscribe, like the video, and subscribe, turn on notifications to get videos every day, and then comment what of the video of the day. And then if you join a wonder station, you will receive one of these. So it's really valuable, but it's free if you want. Or if you basically miss out on all my chances, I might make some essential t-shirts that says Fall Nick Fan PS5 for enthusiasts. It's not a cool name, but I might create another one of these. So that's what I have. So anyway, let's get in this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use droppers to create and activate your own lava pit trap. So in our last video, we basically worked on the mob killer. And it turned out it was a non-crappy work until I made my oscillating my oscillator physics, which is the piston smash trap. Kinda has an op action with this, but it doesn't really do anything but just does that. But I'm actually making a my modern own retro clock circuit. They are really valuable and they can't get noisy, but we're gonna get away from that. So if you want to know how to know when to use droppers and when to, how to use them, learn these hacks, here's what we're going to need. So in order to create, if you're in survival mode and you need to know how to craft a dropper, the ingredients are 7 cobblestone and redstone. So 7 cobblestones and redstone. So, but for this one, we're going to need a lot of items. Not really that lot, we're not going to be using a lot, but we're going to need some redstone. Then we'll need some redstone torches and levers. Then we'll need some buttons. I for wood buttons. See mm -hmm. Sorry guys. See mm -hmm. Sorry guys. Then we're gonna need some. Our recipe will be the droppers. Then we, we're gonna need uh some we need some repeaters. Then we'll need some chests. And then we're gonna need some type of item to put in there. We're gonna put in maybe some cooked chicken, please 16 ch cooked chicken, and then for the last block we're gonna need is our light blue wool, and then those are all the uh, materials we're gonna use. So the first step is how dropper. So anyway, what, sorry guys. So anyway, once you have all these objects, so for the first thing, if you guys know what a dropper does, a dropper is somewhat like a dispenser, but a dropper is what we use to like communicate with us uh, some social orientation. Let's more time. So. For example, if I put in, I put in, if I put like one of these pieces of chicken, for example, if I put it in, all right, with and then if I put a lever on the side here, no, actually no, right here, it launches it. It's kind of like a dispenser, but what dispensers do is that dispensers can create, is can create a perpetual art movement, well. Basically, droppers are basically say as conceptual. Like, have you heard this term known as conceptualism versus perpetualism? That kind of stuff with the end of revolution. Well, Minecraft basically wanted to do some type of like physics with using repeaters and how the, these droppers can actually un use for identification numbers to basically dissolve into like more like rotation and more like hopper rotaries. So, I have no idea what makes sense, but mostly we can underestimate that most of these can actually work by using something. So, if you want to know something for this next one, basically, this hopper here, it can actually launch out a piece of chicken. So, you give to one of the uh, hungry or the games people and multiplayer online. And now, here's a trick. We, they take, we add redstone. One sec, guys. Sorry, guys. We take redstone and we put it on the top. And coming down and this way now how this works is we can actually take a torch oh no 
and then we can actually create a little pulse shortener, like a little clock circuit. So with this clock, we're gonna use our clock circuit uh, physics to to uh, make this. So clock is that we have to add a t type of block to add on here. So we're gonna add a redstone torch, maybe. No, not redstone torch. Maybe if we add more blocks down here, and if we add like a redstone torch, watch this. So that burns out, but we want to make sure we want to have like some type of like a completion. So I want to go ahead and take this time wisely to basically uh, use some redstone physics to actually make a dropper that's more sustainable and more archaeological. So when 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 I take when I take a piece of redstone right here, right? So from the last time we did the uh, piss and smash grinder. So you'll notice clock circuit right here, right? It only lasts a second. I'll show you again. Because it was a pulse joiner and a fast clock circuit. So I'll show you again. So so if you play if we if you play redstone up top here. I see what your problem is, Alexa. If we add redstone, torch. So it kinda gives like a lot of a little flash flash tation, but um go ahead and create a Little clock circuits. Relax, 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 relax. See, it only lasts a second, but if we place the amount of of cooked chicken in our in our droppers, and then and then uh, we, we and then we basically uh, recharge one of the redstone lines, it's going to launch all the chickens out. So, but remember, this is a pulse shortener. Not mostly a clock circuit, because a clock cir a clock circuit basically goes on forever and ever. Like, like those for example, that is like that there, like the like the one I created for my DIY. That can be so. We want to make sure this is actually a pulse shortener slash clock circuit. So, one of the redstones. Then, watch that. It see you see that. I'll show you again. It released all the chicken. So it released all the chicken. So that's what droppers can be used for. So you can create your own little Paul Shortner drop, Paul Shortner cooked chicken cannon. Another cool thing about uh, droppers is that droppers can actually communicate through long distances. And why? Well, if we take some type of, if we take the put a dropper here, and if we actually create a space between like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the seventh block right here, make sure they're facing this way. We can actually identify by taking a. We take a piece of redstone, and then if we go ahead and connect that line to that dropper right there, and then if we come back here, if we put redstone on the top as well, and put it on the uh, back of the redstone, thus we made. And if we put like a. Uh, so, put, so if you if you put like redstone torch there, it will hear it click. So basically, we can we're gonna place a lever so that we can actually uh, do this later. So have it go, have it going and off. But we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Well, we're gonna place rest on the top, coming down, and then lever. Very simple. Now the main part is that I want to use some more physics to create a flip flop design. So for the flip flop make back of this, I want to take I want to take rest on coming down from here, going all the way out this way. And I want to take another one of these right here, and then going out the way as well. Now, for the first step, now I want to take a repeater and then have it face it this way. In the, in the other place right here, I want to have it facing this way. And then for the next idea, I want to have a wrestling torch in the middle. That's where all my whole thing is connected at. And the middle is so the middle basically it doesn't matter where you place the wrestling torches at. It's just long as it's is there. I'll just actually since I'll just place two there so that I will get confused. <laughs> and then just flip, just flip over those uh, repeaters. And you should hear them click. Now here's the secret why. The reason why we did this is because uh, one redstone torch is. Oh no, we actually deleted the one redstone torch. So once you hear a click. So once you hear a click. We don't. 
we don't actually want it to click. You just want to make sure it's correctly. So we don't want that click. And we want to get rid of the redstone. So let me see what I do the other. Okay, so you don't want to hear. We want to have it clicked. So you just want to leave it where it's at right now. So once you hear it click, and then the next step is to try something. Okay, just just go ahead and just replace replace it there. Don't place anything here. So for for next up here is so anyways yes. Yeah, so once you place a piece of chicken, a cooked piece of chicken in in one of the uh right here. Let me do something. For example, I'm gonna place. It. So basically, I have. Uh, you can also use some type of different. Uh, you can also use like uh. Other materials like uh, blocks, like such as like dirt, or you can use like en ender pearls, or you can use any type of like potion bottles if you want. So, I want to do is I'm gonna place a cup, every piece of chicken, and one of the and both this and both droppers. But I don't have enough. But so I, I don't have enough piece of cooked chicken. I'm gonna use dirt. Now, for my last step, I want to place I want to place redstone torches on the top here of my builds, and then with my clock circuit activating potion trick, our clock circuit how it works is when our clock circuit is going to be like this. We're going to have a block wool block there, and then actually the wool block has to get close to the redstone line, and then you want to have a torch. Uh, Actually, oh. and if we have like a, uh, uh, so we have we have we make creative life right here. If we add a redstone right here, and then watch this. So it creates like a little pulse shortener. It only launches one piece of chicken out, but I want to I want to go ahead and intervene with this. I want to go ahead and make this like more constant double. I add I first I take that and I add I want to add a resin line down here, and then it kind of does a trick. But I can, as you know I can't actually place a resin torch there, so we're gonna do something a little different. Now, if you place our torch right there, it does release a couple of chicken. Let's see how much chicken we have in there. Okay, we only got a few more chicken. We only got a couple more pieces of chicken, but... And if you add that right there, it releases all the chicken. So you can grab... I'm gonna go ahead now, you grab all the chicken, and you can release... Put all the chicken back into the dispenser. And then I'll show you that again. So, but the first step is I want to replace it... Whoa, with a repeater. See what will happen. It's flash time. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm Peter, and then we'll add our horizontal torch. Port. And that's what a monitor likeness of what we can use to that. And I'll do the fact, I'm going to go ahead and try to see what will happen if we use dirt blocks. Alright, let's try that again. Now, this is what I call a modern flip-flop dropper. So that's another cool thing I want to show you. Another cool thing about droppers is that droppers can actually put your items inside of a chest. Yes. So for the first step here, you're going to have need as a dropper here. Put the dropper here and then have a chest facing to where it's at. If you look closely, they're, they, don't, they look like they're connected, but they're not. Now... If you want to place an object in there, go ahead. But let me, let, I'm going to try one for example. I'll place a rainbow 
play this piece of so I played that piece of dirt in there. Alright. Then I wanna place I'm gonna have redstone coming from the behind and on the on the top. Having that said, you can go ahead there and stop right there what we're doing. Having the redstone torch right here. And then replacing it with a command. Now, if we do that, our block's in there, but I don't want to add anything in the chest yet. I don't want to add anything in the dropper yet. We're not actually done. We're going to try using a clock circuit for this one. So for this, I add this down here, and then add this right here, and then I want to add... No, I actually want to extend that out more, and then add a redstone torch right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a redstone... See? See right there? See what it is? So it created like a second charge at most. So the way to stop this is that if I put the lever here. See? The other part is I have to stop what I'm doing and place chests and place at least a couple in here. So when that stopped, when when that is stopped. And if you want to go ahead and do it, here's what the plot, is. the plot twist is. So, the plot twist is the chest is right here, while the dropper is basically observing what the chest is doing. So, the redstone repeating tr contraption circuit of a delay line is that we could go ahead and place... We can now go ahead now and, and we can actually re place another wool block here to actually intervene with this. And we can add a... Redstone torch on the top here, and we can have redstone. Rest. We have, no, actually, we can have redstone coming on that block right there, and then we can actually have a redstone torch on the side, and that torch should burn out, and we can actually put another torch in the back there, and that should burn out as well. So let's see what happens if we do this. So you can see it stops right there. See, this goes on, and look right here. This also goes on. So we made, we created a pulse shortener. And the clock circuit. So this is what I can use. So for so basically, this is a pulse shortener, right? And it's the cl uh, clock circuit. So it has an idea of matching things together. And then if you look inside, our, our items are inside the chest right there. So that's another way you can actually use the droppers to overanalyze the comparator or clock circuit ticking recipe. Another cool thing about droppers is that, that droppers can actually create the outmost thing, an outstanding propaganda of, of basically designing your own creation. So, for this creation, you're, we're going to be taking a piece of glass pane. So, for this right here, you can take a piece of glass pane and create like a little like window with it. So, create a window with your glass pane. All right. So once you create your glass pane, go ahead and like raise it. What's that, guys? So you want to raise your glass, like create like a glass window frame, and then after that, go ahead and go all the way up there, and then here's your like little window right here. It's like a little grot grot window. So. What is this? What? What are we using glass for for this one? Well, good question. The glass is actually going to be an, a sustainable some ability with this. So, for this next one, we're going to grab ourselves some sticky pistons. We're going to do a little bit more clock circuiting with it. So, the reason why I want to ask that we're actually doing clock circuiting is because that clock circuiting is one of my favorite builds I like to do. I just like to do clock circuiting. That's I all I like to do. So for the first thing I want to do is I want to place at least sticky piston all over the windows to where you can't see nothing. So I want to delete every everything and then replace it with the replace everything with glass first. And it might take a while, so be pretty patient. So. I mean, I had a why I built the window first. I should have done it. So just place, just place it there, and then replace the glass with the windows. Cause we're gonna do a little bit of physics with this. 
never have. So when when you can actually create like an actual spiral with these the pistons, I I could be really impressive. But just try not to like get into any people's way when building it, because you might get like a glitch. All right. Once the pistons, once the sticky piston is back on the wall, it's time to do our our little physics now. And the physics is we have to take at least a dropper, at least place a dropper on every. Basically, we want to place droppers on every side. <laughs> and look, okay, so I'll come out to guy who I'm done. Okay, I fixed it now. So, when I have droppers facing the sticky pistons, where they at? Now, for each one of these, you're, there's going to be a type of sequence. So, with redstone line, you want to have redstone line on for the first, the middle. There's actually no middle, but you want to have for the first one here. And then you want to have at least, like, like another one coming down this way. And then you want to have, like, a... So, the main part is that you're actually, like, creating, like, some type of, like, major malfunction. Alright, so... For this next one here, we're gonna add a, we're gonna add some we're gonna be adding some basic uh philo philosophy on here. We're gonna add some we're gonna add a rest on square, but then we're gonna add a repeater. We're gonna add, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna add a repeater facing that way, add on facing this way, and then we wanna keep every every rest down on here. That you see, wait, 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 see, see, see. Oh, crap, 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 how am I gonna how am I gonna look? Then for my physics here, I want to go ahead and create a whole a whole redstone little circuit board. So our redstone circuit board is where we're going to go at. But then we want to place our, our physics block. Our command block is where we have to go all the way here. And then let me see. Let me see if, if we can actually test that with redstone torches. <laughs> Well, it can't actually because we don't have anything to connect it with. So, oh. first up is we're going to go ahead and just do our physics now. As you can see, this lights up. What do we need our repeater? And you can see. It does the propaganda itself. So it's our clock circuit here, but then we want to add something within. Let's take something for example. Okay, so. I did a little things there, so we stop that there for a sec, and then actually for this part, delete every, delete the droppers on the bottom, and have and then have redstone right here. All right, now for every every dropper on the top here, we want to go ahead and add a block that connects our story. Having a block, having place each one of your materials inside of the correspondent correlation of your dropper block that uses the promoting of physics, and then we can go ahead and keep keep making our same compressive story. So, when this whole thing becomes progressive, I want to have a profess with this. So, as you can see, it moves the uh. Basically, it moves every piston, so we want to keep adding every story to this. Let me try something real quick. So the main part, it only moves the top. So, that's mostly one of the part stories. So, here's how, how this works. So, we're not actually done yet. So, for for our assist store here, we're gonna go ahead and place the droppers right order at. So, every dropper on glass. Don't skip any, and then have an object inside of it. 
object we're going to be using is we're going to use not really a, we're going to be using our pistons for the last object we're going to use but our tool object we're going to use is at least a lot of books we're, we won't be needing any um let's see levers so grab how many books you want <laughs> it's quite bad <laughs> or don't grab any books we'll just grab ourselves a fence and just place any block of it if you want in there. And then so on. I I'm going to talk for a little bit before I do because it's going to take like a while to do it. So when you convince a person to build a or solve like a physics problem. And if you want to ask a person to do a quantum computing system. Like if you want to have a computer uh, in intervention meaning that you want to solve a computer by using the blotch sphere or you can just use any type of thing but the computer itself has to be directed by a derogatory of of like depositorial and like other progressive influence on building an, Ardu an arduino set but anyway so here you'll hear it click because it's in place so what i'm going to go ahead now is i'm going to delete the rest on torch but I want you to watch this. Ready? And let's go. Now, it isn't nothing, but we, we gotta add a redstone torch. Add a redstone torch to stop there. And then we're gonna grab our redstone dust. And then we're gonna go ahead and put redstone on the dropper so that it can actually release all the objects out. No, better yet, if you want to, add redstone torches. Redstone torches can come, become a better influence. Throw it ready. I mean, we're standing by. Oopsie. There's a skeleton right in my way. Yeah. Well, I'll just tell you. So, the glass is supposed to, like, actually, like, shoot out the objects that are inside of the lever. And you hear, you hear clicking, but that's totally okay. Alright. And for the, and for, for our last project for our little for our last project of our using our droppers is that most droppers can actually become an arrow target repeater. If you know what I mean. So basically, we're gonna create our little like we did for the fences. We're gonna go ahead and use we're gonna create a little bathtub. We'll create like a rectangle, and then just like like create like a rectangle. Of your wool, and then I'll show you. So once you have a rectangle right here, you want to go ahead now and stop what you're doing, and then have a. You want to go ahead now and you're going to create create a repeater circuit Arduino set. So have a have a repeater facing on um, both sides. No, actually, wait, 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 wait. Two sides. <laughs> Actually, I mean, so if you're, you're using redstone, then we'll use redstone comparator, comparators, sorry. When we need droppers, then we're going to need at least, <coughs> sorry. We're going to be using some oak buttons. After that, you're, we're going to have a sticky piston. Then you're going to need, now you're going to need some bow and arrows. bow and arrows and then for the last project we're gonna need is that you're gonna need either a bow and arrow or crossbow and we're gonna get rid of our um well I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna hold off a second because we're gonna need something else and I'm gonna put that to a stop I'm gonna have that to a stop so that, that will be annoying so I'll just stop that all right so we're gonna be building like we did last time but we're gonna have a redstone circuit here first then we're gonna have a gonna fill that out. We're gonna have a contraption of this right here. It's gonna be like a little base circuit here. And then we're actually gonna have this right here. We're actually gonna have a we're gonna just gonna have like a button right here. That's gonna be that's gonna have a downwards dropper facing that button.
So once you have that dropper facing down, and then go back up, and then you should have everything right here, and then go ahead and go back and connect that block. That's all town talk, Loco. That's good for you. Okay, Alexa. And then for the next step, is we're gonna have a a sticky. What the, what just happened? I don't know, but we're gonna have a sticky piston. We're gonna have a sticky piston on the back where the dispenser's where the dispenser is. It's gonna go connect to the dispenser right there. Ah, uh, there we go. Oops, sorry. All right, so that piston is gonna is gonna have a, an axe an extract function. Because we're going, to, we're going to be adding a butt. Uh huh. Okay, so I think that's the taking place. So we're going, to, we're going to have a butt in the back right there. All right. Now for the comp for the comparator, the comparator is going to be facing out this way. The comparator is going to be facing out this way. Have it on, and then have redstone. Two redstone lines. The torch with a torch and then redstone lights this way, and then having two redstone sides. All right, for the entire, we're going to be having redstone lines this way and this way, and having this way as well. Then you're going to be having some comp comparators facing this way. Then Having them turn on, we, now we're going to use a physics integration. So, for physics integration, and sorry this video is taking so long, because I want to show you basic stuff. So, the basic stuff is that I want to create my, a little circuit set. So, having that, and having said, and then with that being said, you can just go ahead and just, like, go ahead and just, um, huh. How that build? Sorry, I'm not showing sure you guys, but um. So, once you have that there, you can go ahead now. We're gonna go ahead and delete some of the production sets. There we go. So I created that for a sec there. So now the next step is I have to now I'm gonna go ahead now. Once that's everything is under control and clear, we're all set. Now for the last step is I need is to place a bow and arrow, at least a couple of bow and arrows in my uh dropper. And then With that being said, we're not actually done yet. So I place every every um dropper in there, like every arrow in the dropper. I want to go ahead now and delete every item I have in there and grab some different items. We're gonna be needing our crossbows. Grab yourself a crossbow, and then grab yourself a dispenser, and then grab yourself a water bucket. And for this right here, just go ahead and um, if you're lucky enough. Try to go ahead and create a, whoa. All so create a basic industrial problem. So I'm, I'm gonna test that real quick. Sorry guys, one sec. Uh, sorry if the camera is down. I'm gonna try to get a tripod this time. I'm gonna try to get a tripod from my phone. So I wanna go ahead and replace 
I'm so sorry. So I want to, I want to do what I did last time. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use some. <laughs> okay. Actually, here, I'll, I'll have another plan. I'm a little secret here. Is that I'm gonna place redstone, uh, res I'm gonna place a switch right there, and then watch closely. Okay, and then now for the last step, I'm gonna have place some water in there, water bucket in there. Alright, and then one of my arrows came out, but that's okay. So we're actually done with this. So now we're gonna solve our little problem here, okay? So we gotta hit that. We gotta hit, try to hit that button right there. All right, ready? Oh, I'm gonna try that again. All right. And sorry if the ticking is so like. Oh my gosh. It was a button we need to use and then like that. So there we go. Kind of a trick there, but um, we don't want that. All right, we don't want that. We're gonna use a dispenser instead. So. All right, I'm back. So I had to fix it. So don't place a piston, take your piston right there. So I'm gonna try this now, okay? I'm gonna go ahead now and try this. So, anyway, so I have to hit the target, which is right here. Oh, did nothing. Kind of something I did right there. <laughs> All right, it's not bad. All right, I'm going to try it. Let's try this again. So I'm gonna hit the target this time. I'm not gonna. So what it does is it's supposed to like have like a little clock circuit oscillator fix. So like this is supposed to like to, so basically what's like if you hit the button right there. I don't if you place the button like right here. But then if you press this button right here, it releases the water. But watch this. It sucks the water back up. And those and that's how you can use droppers to use your lot to use creativity to make your lava pit trap. Well anyways, warners, this that's it for this video. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's next prank video if my friend can come over. So basically if you want to see more things down below. Check out my boys Ice Nice channel and some of the headquarters and then and then leave a comment down below if you like the video and then go check out my merch and, and join the monitor station and as always thumbs up for safety. Like a hell cut.